So this should be a short video on uh, fine grinding. Uh, it's really no different from rough grinding except you got to be a little bit more careful uh, when you're placing the, the tool onto the blank, onto the mirror, and you got to be more cautious of uh, dirt or contamination that could uh, possibly get into the system. I have my I have my tool in the same area as rough grinding. I'm at the sphere right now. It's it's I can't tell any difference on the spherometer uh, across the entire face of the mirror. So right now I'm just adding. I'm at about 320 uh, grit, and I'm just adding it every once in a while. It's really easy and low maintenance at this point. I'm adding grit and water every about five minutes. As you can see, a couple things have changed. I've modified the table. It had a blue plywood disc that was kind of warped and the table would move up and down which I'm sure isn't good for astigmatism. I've also made sure that the tool and the the weight is tightly in place. I've machined uh, the insert here so there's zero play and I add oil to it every time. I do about one hour session of grinding, then I shut the machine down, take the disc off of the table, inspect for pits and any other scratches or anything like that, and I make sure that I am rotating in place the mirror so I won't have any uh, astigmatism or anything crazy like that. Uh, as you get finer and finer in your fine grinding, astigmatism can come into play and you need to uh, be vigilant against that. I'm also tightening these clamps less and less as I move up in the, into the finer grits due to astigmatism. Uh, that's the last thing you want when you finally start polishing it out and start testing your mirror is to see a, uh, a mirror with astigmatism. You can also see the amount of grit I'm actually putting. This is 320. It's about the size of a size of a pea. And I'm just it's really not taking that much now. Just scattering over the entire surface of the disc. And then adding a tiny bit of water. Doesn't take a lot. If you put too much water on you'll flush it off. Too little it'll turn into a paste. I just want the nice even amount. You can tell it's working because the uh, the slush that's coming up the top is white, and that's from the the actual glass. Okay, before I take the mirror off to inspect it for pits, I just like to give it a couple rotations by hand with no grit, just glass on glass to. Um, kind of polish it off a little bit so the pits will stand out better under uh, the inspection. Plus I think it might even out the mechanical marks on the end product of the mirror. doing this with no pressure applied, just even it out. You can tell by the residue on top, it's white, and it's all glass, no grid. In between wets, you wanna clean off your tool. And I just do it in a pool of Tupperware container full of water here. And I'll clean this 
container full of water out every, between every uh, change of uh, grit size. So I'm at 320 right now. I'll change it when I go to, I think it's a 10, 5 micron or something. And I'm scrubbing, it's like I'm brushing the teeth of these tiles. Cleaning it all out, making sure there's nothing left in there. I could scratch the mirror surface. And then, dunking the mirror in, wiping it clean before I can inspect. Because the most important part now is making sure all the pits from the previous size grit is smoothed out and clean. Watch out, watch out Matthew. My helper. And I use helper very loosely. Watch out. <laughs> 